Welcome to this EV conversion update and I want to introduce you to this wonderful conversion that we're doing next which is a 1969 Mercedes-Benz 280 SE. Um, in mid restoration we've got it to do all the conversion before it gets its restoration finished off. It's getting a Nissan Leaf motor in the front coupled to its original gearbox. There's a temporary adapter spacer there while the actual billet aluminium adapter is getting made. So that's it with its motor mocked up in the front as you can see it's um, fouling the cross member at the moment so we're just working on that to be able to get that into the place that we needed to but as you can see we've got quite a bit of room in the front there so all of that's fitting kind of where we want it to be so we, the next steps after this is to figure out um, where the battery box is going to go um, as you can see here it all fits around the steering nicely there's plenty of access for the pipes for the cooling Here's a skeleton box for four Tesla Model S modules that are going in the front and we've placed a battery and uh, uh, electronic vacuum pump in there just to get an idea of space on there. So you can see it from the side just to give you an idea. So that fits nicely. We may have to trim the, the horns on the radiator mount. So our radiators for the coolant of the motor and the batteries will fit nicely inside the the radiator uh, shroud so we don't need to go that far back like the, the original huge radiator used to do um, so you can see it's nicely fits in there this is just to get an idea of the space that we make these little skeletons um, the, the actual box itself will be mounted in a different way from the actual chassis it won't be resting on any of the, uh, the um, cross members as you can see there so here we've put the 6.6 .6 charger just mounted it, sat it on top of the motor to see if it would fit under the bonnet line. We're not exactly sure that it's going to sit there. I think there's probably a strong possibility that's going to move into the boot. It depends on where the customer wants the layout and, and how much room they, they want in the boot of the car. Um, and that's most of the parts. We've got to find room for an um, electronic hydraulic power steering pump because the car's got hydraulic power steering on it. So that'll go somewhere in the engine bay, but there's plenty of room in there for that. So I can see it games just to get a good idea of where everything's going to fit and then we should hopefully transition to the shots of the ringer now yeah it's giving you a good look around there yeah you see everything nice just a good old check around to make sure that the gay box sits where it wants to sit plenty of clearance around everything and the blue rags covering the power steering box this is three of the Tesla Model S modules. This is just one of our temporary holders, just so that we can see how they all sit um, and how they're going to fit together. This is the uh, outer skeleton of the rear box with two housings for the BMS and communications wiring on the back, and then a side mounting for all the high voltage contactors and the input and output plugs um, to join both the front and rear battery boxes and the motor together. So you can see that it fits very much in the boot. Um, we did have, and we'll show you towards the end of the video, an underside shot of the car. There is actually room to drop the battery box down through the floor, but after discussions with the owner, they didn't want to cut the floor or get too close to the suspension. They're not too bothered about room in the boot. There's going to be room either side. Um, he may use the original spare wheel, which sits on the right-hand side there. He may not. It might just be deleted with a... Um, a slime and, and pump kit. So you can see kind of underneath where we could have gone and we could have dropped down if we wanted a bit more room but the, the owner doesn't want to cut the car it's boot floor and, and drop the, the box down which is fine that's great a good decision. So that's how it all looks underneath. Nice shot there just a steady shot so you can actually see a bit more detail. So that's all going to stay standard with um, blank and plates fitted across the holes that are already there. So that's it. So please like and subscribe if you want to keep up to date with what's happening with this Mercedes EV conversion.